The title of our message today is Nothing Else Should Matter. And it's coming from Matthew 6, verse 30 to 34. And it reads, Now if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all, these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. The man that is coming for us today, he has faithfulness, dedication, a willing spirit and a labor of love to his congregation and to God. Let's all put our hands together for our pastor this morning. Pastor Lewis Stadium. Amen. Give Sister Tracy a hand for those for the scriptures and those wonderful words of encouragement and uplifting to me. Amen. Come on, Brother David. That, that beat you were playing earlier. Give God another hand, praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you happy today? Amen. Amen. Let's say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. You forgot? Amen. That's all right. You think about it. Y'all don't beat that play that beat. You can't remember what it was. Amen. <laughs> Well, just give me one then. Amen. Huh? Oh, man. Wow. Glory, hallelujah. Y'all messing me up today. <laughs> Amen. Ain't he good? He's better than good, ain't he? Amen. Hallelujah. I needed that beat, but that's all right. Amen. We're going to sing this in the key of B. We're going to do one of my old but goodies, I guess. Amen. 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 Do anybody have a testimony? Anybody have a testimony? I know somebody got a testimony. Thank you. 
So this morning I got up, went to the pastor, and I asked the people at the pastor. I said, I told them the situation. Because some years ago, my granddaughter, I was, she was trying to drive, and I would let her drive, uh, Tony's daughter. And uh, she was going over, we was going over to uh, her auntie house, which is Tasha. And she was driving. I thought she told me she could drive. So I didn't let her drive, you know. Anyway, so we was going, I said, you know she stayed? She said, yeah. We were driving, she was going kind of fast. I said, you sure you know? She said, yeah. I said, well, that house right there. I said, I said, you got to turn right there. She just whooped in. <laughs> ran off the road, like you hit a pole. Oh, ran on the embankment and, and, and just so happened. She was laughing all the same time. So I said, she got out the car and I bagged it off the thing. And ever since then, I've been had to put water in. <laughs> so anyway, so I guess when it ran hot, it just aggravated that spot that was leaking slowly. To make a long story even shorter, so I went to the park store and got some stuff they call blue something. Something they recommend. Show me how God works now. The kind that they were looking for, they said God bought it all yesterday. And the lady went back there and she said, 
She look, she said, uh, he bought it all yesterday, but he did bring one back. She said, I wouldn't recommend nothing there. The only one they had. So I carried it onto the house and I pulled it in there in the name of Jesus. I cranked the car up and it ran and cranked it up and I let it run for a while. And uh, I didn't turn that, you know, so I went back out there. I put some water in it, I put it back out there. And I took the top off the, over, off the reservoir, poosh, and the freeze went everywhere. I thank God that it wasn't boiling hot. Oh, that's right. But he got all in my face, all over me. I had to go take a shower. <laughs> and I thank God that it could have been, it could have been worse. Yeah. You screw up, uh, screw that thing, and that thing hot. Look at him. That hot water get on you, that air freeze get on you, it's gonna stick. <laughs> Bless him. Hey, it didn't get in my eyes, it didn't, didn't get on my skin, but it, it blowed up in my, it's up. Yeah, I thank God. That's something to praise him for. Amen. Hey, man, he's good. So, so right now it ain't leaking. So I don't know what tomorrow gonna hold. Amen. But he's good. Yeah. Showing up good. He always looked beyond our fault. And supply our need. Hey Amen. That's what I tell people. I, you know what? You know we we talk about tithes and everything. And I don't. Y'all know I don't talk on heap on tithes. But you know what I learned? That he said that he will fight you, devour you, against you. Then he said, "Huh?" Hey Amen. So I can say over the period of 20, 30, 40, 50 years, I have seen the Lord fight and devour the against things in my life. Amen. I want to thank you. Because he's been good all over and over and over again. Now, what was the title of the sermon, y'all? <laughs> Nothing else should matter. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Matthew 6 33 said, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Nothing else should matter. Amen. Y'all don't hear. Look at your other neighbor and say, neighbor. Nothing else now. Nothing else. Should matter. I'm going to read y'all the rest of that. I'm going to read y'all the rest of that. Above that. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at the 30th verse because I want y'all to know exactly what he was talking about. Because, see, we worry about a whole lot of things. We put emphasis on a whole lot of things. Y'all know we do that. We do. I mean, we we put entries and value on a whole lot of things that ain't going to mount to a hill beam. <laughs> y'all don't hear me. Amen. Especially this young generation, this generation now. Amen. Now, the old, the old generation didn't do didn't, 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 then let things, they, they didn't worry about a whole bunch of things that, that we worry about today. I'm, I'm part of the old school. A lot of things. But anyway, look at it. Matthew, the, the sixth chapter, third verse says, Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Did y'all know that grass in the field got clothes? No. <laughs> no. You didn't know it, did you? This is what he said now. This, this is in red. So that means they said this is what Jesus said. Matthew, the sixth chapter, the third verse. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the earth, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Ain't that something? Everybody stand up and look around at your own self. Stand around and just look around at your own self. Do that. Stand around and do that. Don't pose. Look at yourself. Come on, let's come on. Stand up and look at yourself. Look at yourself. Amen. We got clothes in. Huh? Amen. Most of our, our clothes are made from wool, cotton, and, and over in China, they take the bamboo and, and do something with it and make clothes, make cloth out of that. It's another country they were showing that I was watching in uh, in India somewhere. They take uh, 
of banana trees, the banana trees, and and they don't they don't just fly them up. They take them and shred them up, and can and do something with that stuff, and can make clothes out of them. You say, man, ain't that something? God said He clothed the grass of the field. How much more will He clothe us? See what I'm saying? All this stuff that we that we wear is is coming from stuff that God allowed to happen. God said, let there be cotton, soybeans, and all that. Sarge and molasses. Y'all young people don't know about no sarge and molasses. Yes, I do. Huh? Y'all don't know about no sarge and molasses. Yes, Not y'all young folks. Y'all know about that Miss Butterworth and all that. What is that? Auntie Mama. But y'all don't know about them, that, that sarge and molasses where you had the mule or the tractor. I'm gonna go back to the to the mule. Had the mule pulling that thing, and everybody was out there putting sardines, cut them sardines stuff down, and, and let them dry. I think they let them dry. So how they did? Parking did better than I did. And we had sardine molasses, had biscuit and sardine molasses. Boy, you talking about good? And you didn't get no, you didn't get diabetes, from, and you didn't get no uh, sugar test because it was natural sardine molasses. Amen. And we ate our part. <laughs> well, you take some sarge molasses and slap it on that biscuit, go to town. You have not you have to have no meat. But God, if He had clothed the grass, how much more shall He clothe us? We that have such little faith. We worry about a lot of things that we shouldn't worry about. Now y'all keep y'all been going. Tell your friend, I, I learned something today. I learned that the grass got clothes on. <laughs> Ain't that something? Y'all can tell somebody, I learned today that grass got clothes on. Don't take my word for it. It's in the Bible. I hadn't paid no attention. But God so clothed the grass of the field. Ain't that something? Now Adam and Eve, when they messed up, God so the fig, God put some clothes on fig leaves. What is that? that who was it? The no, God killed the animal and, and, and made him some clothes. I didn't say he did it. I had to go back and read. But they had some fig leaves for clothes. I guess they were looking like tar then. Flapping the front and flapping the back. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But God fixed it for him. He clothed. He'll do it. But it didn't stop there. He said, therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or where shall we be clothed? For after all these things does the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father know that ye have need of all these things. God knows. He knows we need some clothes on. Because our eyes became open when Adam and Eve did what they did. Did y'all know that Adam and Eve walked around naked and didn't even know they were naked? Uh -huh. Ain't that something? When God created Adam and Eve, they walked around naked and didn't even know it. Ain't that something? See, listening to the devil will get you in trouble. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ain't that something? That's why, that's why we are in trouble today because we listen to the devil. Adam and Eve, can you imagine how? We know you, I, I know you always pose. Can, you, come, can, can, we name my, come here, my beautiful dog. Just stand up here. Ain't no camera, just stand up. Look at look how good she looks, y'all. That outfit is good on you, girl. We know you always model. Oh, she always. She don't know. I be, I be keep, I keep up with all. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a Facebook person. I watch what goes on. Man, she always modern. Boy, I bet you spend a lot of bread on, on the clothes. Yeah, a lot of bread. I'm just, I'm gonna show. We just, I'm gonna use her for example. Oh, okay. I'm gonna use her for example. You know, she don't, she ain't, she ain't gonna tell how much. I don't know how much her outfit be called. But, but. So what? Look at it. I'm going to put it in the sermon so she can come up there. Let me see what else we got on here. We're going to sing. Okay. We're going to sing. We're going to sing, but that's all right since you came up there. I'm glad you're alive. 
My grandma went shot and bought her nice outfit. She got to church. She just know what nobody else gonna be there with that outfit. She got to church and when somebody else, one of the other ladies came in church with that same outfit, my grandma said, take me home, take me home, take me home right now. Take me home right now. And mama said, why? She said, take me home. Like, I'm not gonna sit up in here with somebody else with an outfit on just like that. No, take me home. They had to take my grandma home and change clothes. And that's something. See how we do, but it shouldn't matter, but we do that. We do that. But it shouldn't matter. What you say? What are you what are you getting at, preacher? I'm trying to paint a picture. I'm trying to paint a picture. Because it seems like today everything matters but our soul salvation. We don't put no value on our soul. Y'all don't hear me do it. Y'all think I'm just kidding though. We don't put no value on our soul. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. He said, he, he, he said, for after these things, he said, for after these things does the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you have need of all these things. See, we're the Gentiles. Y'all know we're the Gentiles. Huh? We're Gentiles, then. Of black Jews, what, which is there? What are we? The Israelites? We're the Israelites? We're the, we the Israelites? We don't really know what we are now. Everything's so out of whack. Huh? It's all messed up. The devil got us all messed up. Everybody got it's all out of whack. They fighting over there. Y'all little folks over there fighting over there. It really, y'all guess who is the fight? The chip. Abraham had a son by the bond woman. He had a son by what? His wife. He had a son by the bond woman. And then he had a son by his wife. And those cheering, 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 and cheering, cheering are over there fighting over that land right today. Y'all know how we do, but it shouldn't matter. You want you want to know the biggest family problem there be? Let somebody die and some some land is involved. Let somebody die and you got some land, boy. You got a family feud showing up. And I ain't talking about no family feud like on the TV, the family feud. I'm talking about a real family feud. It's going to be some arguing, some fussing, some fights, some falling out. Some, somebody wanted it all in, and there's going to be some disagreement. Don't let it be added. Boy, you really got a problem. And that's what they got going on over there. Fight over some land. But it shouldn't matter. But that's the way it is. Why? Because... Somebody listen to the devil. Y'all don't hear me. Listen to the devil will cause problems every day, all the time, any time of the day. But see, but this didn't get on down to listen to what he said. But Jesus said in the 33rd verse, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all, all his and, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Ain't that something? We worry about all the other things. We worry about clothes and how fancy and how sharp and all this. I mean, we we just woo. We worry, woo, man, woo, man. I gotta go get me a new outfit, man. It's getting old too. It ain't but a month old. It's old. I gotta get me a new one. We worry about these things. But you know what? Solve all them problems if we seek God and His righteousness. We won't let all these other things bother us. We want all this other stuff won't really matter. Y'all don't hear me. But see, the closer I get to the Lord, the more I think about, hey, ain't nothing else gonna matter if I ain't got my soul ready to meet the man. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. You said, preacher, what are you saying? I'm trying to paint a picture because see, I look at Y'all know what the guy named? Got plenty of money. What's his name? Daddy? Is it called him? Daddy? Diddy. What, what is his name? Sean Cone Diddy. Look at that. I don't know him about the guy. But I kind of, I feel bad for him. I feel bad for the guy. No, I feel bad for him. You want to tell you why I feel bad for him? This is, this, is, this is why I feel bad for him. Because he's in trouble. Trouble. Trouble and took their head off and got all kind of money. 
He got so much money, they won't even let him take the boat. They won't even let him bail his soul stuff out. He got all that money, can't even get bail out of jail. Ain't that bad? That's bad. See what I'm saying? You said, well, pretty wise, you bringing that up. You got all that. See, see now, see, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. It don't matter how much money you got. If you ain't got Christ in your life, that money's going to get you in some trouble. You get to feeling like, hey, I, can't nobody do nothing. No, y'all can't, y'all can't do nothing. Can, can I tell y'all something happened? Let me tell y'all. Yeah, it's like you my son, he's dead and gone, and God knows I love him. But I, I'm going I'm I'm to tell what happens just to help somebody. I'm going to tell this to help somebody. And if he was living as he was here today, he would tell it better than I would. Because he will, he will say, I want to help somebody. Because let me tell y'all something. If you don't be careful, money will get you in some big trouble. Why? Because we let everything matter but the Lord. These people will go in the, in the store with the children and dress them up and walk them out the store. Why? Because they, they want to try to outdress somebody else. Y'all see what I'm saying? Y'all don't hear me. It's people that go in the store and put on a whole, not to cheer. If, if people go in the store and put on some clothes, they got candles in the dressing room. If people that go in the store and put on some clothes, they put their old clothes on top of them. Say, I ain't got the money to buy this here, but I'm going to wear this here. Girl, I saw so and so. They saying it to themselves. They talking to themselves. Girl, I saw so and so. Boy, they was show shot. I can't afford that. But I'm going to get it anyway. I'm going to steal them. You want that's how we do. Can I help somebody? But Tony, hey man, he 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 he, he worked it on the job with me. Worked it for about 15 years. He was a great worker. He ran a machine and, and he was the best on that machine. I ain't just saying it because he was my son. But he was the best on that machine. And let me tell you. I used to go to my son, I said, son, I said, you ain't hanging out in these bad places. He said, oh, no, dad, I ain't. I'm good, I'm good. I said, I said, the reason I'm telling you, son, I said, because they can just call you to do a drug test, or you can get hurt on your job, and if you go to the doctor, they're going to automatically give you a drug. He said, dad, I ain't worried about that. He said, I ain't worried about that. I said, that's all that makes me feel good. I said, you got to be careful where you go. So my son got hurt. Now, he just know he ain't doing nothing. And I plead him. I plead him. Because he looked at me in a straight face. He said, Daddy, he said, I care more. I care about my job. He said, I got a good job, making good money. Went to the doctor. They gave him a drug test. Came back positive. He said, Daddy, he said, I know I ain't doing nothing. I said, son, where you been hanging out at? He said, well, I've been hanging out at Pastor Son. You can get a contact. You can get a contract. Because they said second hand smoke is worse than, than the first hand smoke. That's what they say. I don't know. Yeah, but he, he hung out in places and the stuff got in the system from just hanging around. You go just as a skunk on the side of the road dead and you drive by and that skunk sneaking. Ain't that, you can drive on down for this water. I've had the skunk in the smell of all in my car. Y'all don't hear me. You think, what, it's a skunk in the car? <laughs> Man, I just passed a skunk, and the smell is still in the car. Y'all be saying it, too. You see what I'm saying? What are you saying, Pre I'm saying that, that, it was where he hung out at. So he lost his job. Lost his job, that good job. And then years later, now it's time for him to draw his, his uh, his uh, his uh, his money that he had built up all them years, and he draw some good money. He draw that money, some good money. He draw that good money, and he got that money. He went down to Memphis and did something he had no business. He was coming back, and he had bought a car. And his friend was driving that car, and he was coming back. And the police stopped the car that his friend was driving because it didn't have no tags on. They must have forgot to get the drive out tag, so the police pulled him over and pulled the car over. And the guy was telling him, he said, well, I'm driving the car for my friend, and uh, we just bought it. He said, okay. And lo and behold, 
The police probably would have let the guy go. Lord, the holy attorney knew he got all this money. Police said, listen, man, I couldn't understand. I said, what did he do? He said, he grabbed up the side me in his car and let the window down and took a swallow of beer and said, what's the problem, Mr. Police? I said, no, he didn't. He said, he said man, that blew me away. He said, I couldn't believe he did that. He said, he said what's wrong with him? I don't know. i tell you what it was. What was that one to you? Had, when you got a lot of money, what is it? You feel what? You feel privileged. You feel like you untouchable. Yeah. See what I'm saying? He thought that the money he had made him untouchable. <laughs> Pull him aside the police and take a swallow of the beer and say, what the problem? What the problem? <laughs> you know. Yeah, I'm serious. And if he was here today, he would tell y'all, don't let money mess you up. Because they messed him up. He lost all that money. All that money. They, they, they kept, as long as he had that money, he, they let him out on, 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 on parole, what, on bail, on bond. Because he had all them thousands of dollars up there. So they let him out. When it's time to go to court, they put it off. They said, well, you can go on back home, Mr. Dye. You bond it out again. They automatically bonded him out with his own money. And then when all the money was gone, they went and picked him up. Put him in jail because he didn't have no more money. He didn't have no more money. But what they didn't know that he had a heart problem. He had a big doctor bill. They put him in jail, and they found out that when they put him in jail, they had to pay the doctor bill. So they moved him out of the jail, headed to the prison, going to the prison, got into the prison, found out that the prison carried to send him to another prison, and that prison. Called me and said, Mr. Dad, we got your son, but he's a good guy. I said, Yeah, he's all right. He said, He's a real good guy. I said, We want you to come up here. I said, What, what happened? They said, We want you to come up in the sign. Baby, we're going to let him go home. Look God, look God. Amen. So look at God work. So Tony got out of prison. He started coming to church. You see what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, money messed him up. Money got him in that trouble. Money. It shouldn't have mattered. We, see, we worry about things that we shouldn't worry about. Seek God and His righteousness. That's a whole lot of other things we won't worry about. We won't worry about trying to outdo nobody else. Now, I, I, I tell you what. Now, if you want to outdo somebody, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Now, you want to outdo me. I, you want to outdo me on something? Come on, outdo me praising the Lord. I believe God will be thankful for that. All right. I believe God's a wild man. I like the way they're competing now. They're competing in praise, and I like that. But when you when you when you compete on all this other stuff that don't amount to a hill of beans, you ain't doing that. You ain't doing that. No, it shouldn't matter. You said, preacher, what are you getting at? What are you getting? At? Nothing else should matter. All right, let's go to let's go to John, John three three. He said, Jesus answered, said, "The very very I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God." Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. You said, "What they got to do with nothing else or not?" We we worry about everything else, but are we worried about are we born again? Huh? Y'all don't hear me. I'm trying to paint a picture. I'm trying to help somebody. Now, ain't nothing wrong with going there buying you a nice outfit. That's great. There ain't nothing wrong with going and getting you a nice hat, dude, and looking good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't think God can hold against you. But are you worried about being born again? Huh? Are you worried about that? Because we got to be born again. Because he told Nicodemus, except the man be born again of the water and of the spirit. He cannot see the kingdom of God. Then he went further. He said, if a man don't be born again of the water, he can't get in the kingdom of God. And we worry about all this other stuff. Can you imagine how many people are walking around here they ain't born again? And they worry about everything else, but they ain't worried about whether they born again. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Come on now, don't get quiet. I'm, I'm trying to help somebody. Because look at him. Death is right around the corner. Y'all don't hear me. His people dying every day. And we don't know when our number going to be called. Y'all don't hear me. 
Do y'all hear me? Come on, somebody. Talk back to me. Do y'all hear me? Do it. Nothing else should matter. Amen. I ain't gonna stop there. I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna go on. Because somebody said, well, why is, what is he talking about? Nicodemus said unto him, Lord, how can a man be born again when he is old? Huh? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus told him, no, man. Jesus said, I said, barely, barely, I said unto you, except, this is the second time, Jesus said, barely, barely, I said unto you, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Ain't that something? How many want to enter the kingdom of God? How many want to go back to Jesus when he comes? You ain't got to raise your hand. But I want you to just think about it. Because, see, when somebody advertises, when they post, they post the things that, oh, boy, they got a sale on their sales. They got a sale at Cato. They got a sale at It Fashion. They got a, they got a sale on that suit you. They got a sale on that, that, that men's outlet. They got, oh, man, I got to go. They got a sale on Got to go get me a new outfit. They got a sale. I got to go get me a new outfit. That's why That's why I was good. I wanted to sue you because they had a sale on. I'm going to sue you. They got a sale on. Huh? I go down there and buy. Why? Because I was worried about it. I wanted, I wanted to be sharp. I wanted to do something. Huh? Well, Jesus told me to do Hey, if a man don't be born again of the water of spirit, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Then he tells me, Nicodemus said, well, Lord, I'm old now. I done got old. I, I can't go back into my mother's womb. He said, no, he ain't, ain't talking about that. I'm being born. I'm talking, except a man be born again of the water and the spirit, ye cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Oh, man, I need to do something about that. Just like you said, well, hey, man, they got to sell. I'm going to go dress up. I'm going to go buy me a nice outfit. When you hear somebody say, Jesus said, you got to be born again of the water and spirit, do your work. Wait a minute, man, let me see. Let me see, have I been born again? Let me check. Let me find out what I got to do. Let me find out where I got to go. Y'all right. see what I'm talking about? Right. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. No, y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all, somebody said, well, hey, I'm going to find me a preacher to say you ain't got to be born again. And they out there. I ain't out there. Y'all don't hear me. There's pre it's preachers out there that'll tell you you ain't got to be born again. Y'all don't hear me. You want to look good. Uh, you want to look good, but somebody say, hey, don't go down there and sue you. Hey, you don't go down there. You don't go down there and sue you, then you're going to get that sale. I don't care what I ain't going to hear him. I'm going to get that sale. But don't listen to that preacher tell you you ain't got to be born again because Jesus already told you. We got to be born again of the water and the spirit. And then here come the devil. He done already messed us up. And then here comes the devil telling us that we ain't got to listen to Jesus. Huh? Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. I'm trying to help somebody. Because see, I don't know when my time is up. And when I stand before the Lord, I want the Lord to say, oh, God, man, what they ain't about you. You told them. They didn't want to hear it, but you told them. They didn't like it, but you told them. You told them. That's why I believe the Lord going to let me live a long time. No, I'm, 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 I'm asking for a whole bunch of years. Can you imagine? I got 40 grandkids. 30 some great grandkids. And all these pews and these seats. Hey, man, I want to sit. I want to see the day when all my children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, and not only my grandchildren, great grandchildren, my children. Friends and children, and my great grandchildren, <laughs> friends, and they friends, and my grandchildren, friends, they all will feel to They all them came to hear the word of God. That's what I'm looking forward to that day. Y'all right. see what I'm saying? My temple cousins, friends, folks that I don't know, friends. You say, well, man, who are they? I don't know. My kids know them, my grandchildren know them. <laughs> some of my friends, friends. I don't know them, but I'm glad they're here. I'm glad to hear because I got a word for them. I got, a, I got something that'll help them if they listen. Right. I don't let them know that God clothed the grass and they didn't know it because I didn't know it. Huh? Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to let somebody know you got to be born again. Jesus said, accept. And the word accept means what? What the word accept mean? Come on, y'all. Y'all smart people. Come on, tell me. What do the word accept mean? Huh? Come on. Come on, somebody. 
Never will forget it. I tasted ice cream and I like it. I got a hold to that Holy Ghost, and it got a hold of me, and I love it. Amen. Can you, when I sing the song, Can't Nobody Do You Like Jesus? Amen. Christ said, I'm going to go away because if I don't go, the Holy Ghost won't come. Y'all don't see me. Y'all don't hear me. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. This Jesus that I'm talking about came to me like in the form of the Holy Ghost. That's why I said, nothing like the power of God. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. And I want all he got for me. I know that. Amen. I want it like never before. And, and you know, I'm, I'm still learning what God has done in my life. He touched me way back then, and now it's still taking effect. If people be asking me, amen, they said, man, one guy asked me, he said, man, how do you do that? I said, what you talking about, how you do He said, man, how do you, how do you play somebody else's music, and you don't know how it goes, and you sing to it like it's your music? I said, man, all I can say is the Holy Ghost in me. All right, go ahead. That's the only thing I can say. I'm going to give God the praise. I'm going to give him the credit. It ain't me. It's the God in me. Right. Amen. I want to tell y'all something. Look at him. Nothing else should matter. Nothing else should matter. Yeah. Amen. If my heart don't get no prayer, you know why it won't? Because I ain't going to let nothing else work. Because <laughs> <laughs> don't let that matter. Y'all don't hear me. Because they said great hair come from where I don't know. Some folks say it's because you got wisdom. I don't know. Whatever it is, I ain't going to let it bother me. So if, if it's well, I ain't going to give no well. Because I ain't going to let nothing else work. Why? Because I'm going to put it in the hands of Jesus. I'm going to leave it in his hands. Because he can handle it. No, y'all don't hear me. He can handle it. He can do anything but fail. So I ain't going to let nothing else work. Me. If I don't never buy another suit, if I don't never buy another pair of shoes, I ain't going to worry about it. Because I done found out that God don't. Look at them children of Israel that came out of Egypt. They were in the wilderness for 40 years. Their shoes didn't even wear out. Y'all don't hear me. Their shoes didn't wear out. 40 years walking in the wilderness, shoes never didn't wear out. Huh, ain't that something? And I can believe you. How you say that? I showed y'all my suit. That thing still looks like you, don't it? Huh? That thing on the old. But God, God preserved it. I, I, I be at God. God protect my clothes. Don't let them wear out. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me. All right. The, the, the tile on my floor at the house ever since 82. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me. I'm just talking about, I'm wagging on God now. Because right. nothing else. Now. I told the Lord, I said, Lord, I'm going to follow you. I want to do what you want me to do. I want to I want, I want, I want, I want be all you want me to be. He said, die. I'm going to watch you. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to preserve some things in your life. I'm going to show you my power. My mama them had a house. Amen. And they towel wore out. And they didn't have no 10 children. They didn't have no whole bunch of little grandbabies or whatever. But they towel wore out. And mama them come over to the house. They said, son, uh, you don't put down a new floor. I said, no, ma'am. I said, this is the same thing. They said, it's still looking like that? I said, yes, ma'am. People come over to my house. They said, Man, you must have put down a new rug. I said, no, I ain't put down nothing. They said, how you make it up? I said, it's God. God was, look at the flow, y'all. Y'all don't have to take my word. Look at the flow. Y'all see this carpet? We've been here for over 15 years. We had a flood. They call it a 100-year flood. Water was over the flow. Six, seven inches here in the church. This floor looking like that dough. That dough is what, brown? Ain't it brown? Ain't that dough brown? The flow was looking like the dough brown. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Look at We pray because we couldn't afford to put no more coffee in. Just got the deal. We called this guy. He said, man, I'll do the best I can here, but it looked pretty bad. I said, well, do the best you can. He back in his flow, and he was back when I was praying. He said, man, it looked pretty bad. I don't know. I said, well, let's do the best you can. We're going to pray about this thing. And he back and we prayed. Look at the flow. Look at it. Look at the flow. You tell me, when God go to work, God go to work. Yes, sir. We worry about a whole bunch of things. We don't have to worry. He said, first seek him in his kingdom and his right and all the rest will be added. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all know we'd be up here all the time. We had all kinds of saints right up in here. Don't they sing right up in here? Right up in here, they sing. Look at the flow. It ain't what what? 15, we've been here what? 15, 15 years. 
Widow done made a lot of tracks up and down there. When church goes, sometimes the kids get to running around. We tell them, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> huh? Tell them, stop, stop, stop. Kids keep on running. But well, all our stuff is still working. Amen. God done took care of it. God, look at him. When you do right about God, God's going to do right about you. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. Y'all don't hear me. This car got hot. Put it right there in the yard when it got hot again. That's when it stopped again. Right there in the front yard. I've been driving down the road, cut the car, crank it back up, get home, cut the car, and it won't crank. What's wrong? Start it, though. Right there in the yard. You tell me God ain't good. Huh? You tell me God ain't good. I can't speak to nobody else. But I can write. I'm a living witness what God has done in my life. I've seen some 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 move of God in my life in my 70 years of living. Hey man, ever since I came to the Lord, I've had my up and I've had my down. Hey Amen. But I tell you, I kept my hand, my mind on the Lord. When I fell out the Lord, I know I know you got to get me out of here. Because temptation is hard and the pull of the devil is great. I said, but Lord, you have power in here. I need your help. And I can't do it without you. I ain't wrote a song. I can't make it without you, Lord. All right. Amen. And that was a true song. I didn't just sing it just to be that saying it. Right. I sang because that's the way I felt. I let the Lord know. Lord, I can't make it without you. I can't make it without you. I don't know about nobody else. But I can't make it without you. Amen. I can't make it without you. I sang a song. You want to hear it? Hey, I'm going to sing you one. But I got another verse. I got another scripture. It is Acts 2 and 37 says, Now when they heard this, they was pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brothers, what shall we do? And Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exalt, saying, save yourself. Think about it, y'all. We got to save ourselves. Save yourself from this untoward generation. Then they that gladly received the word were baptized, and the same day was added unto them about 3,000 souls. See what I'm saying? The same, though. Let me tell y'all something. Now is the time. Not tomorrow, because tomorrow ain't promised to nobody. Now is the time. Move while the blood is running on through your veins. Hey, man, don't wait till tomorrow. Don't do like the rich man and the, like the poor man. Hey, man, the rich man did. He, he ladder just wanted a little bit from the table. The rich man didn't have no time for him. But the rich man died and the poor, the poor man died too. Hey, man, the rich man died and looked up in the hell. Looked up from hell. Oh, I'm down here, y'all. I see ladder man in the board room, man. I should have done, I should have done right about it. Too late, then. The songwriter said he prayed too late. That's what's wrong with a lot of people. They want to pray too late. Hey, I heard somebody say, pray for that man, he just died. Pray for, no, you can't pray. Ain't nobody praying for somebody who just died. No, 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 no. Pray for the family, maybe. But there ain't no need to pray for him. Or ain't no need to pray for her. Ain't no need to pray for them. Because if they didn't do, if they didn't get it right while the getting was good, too late to pray for them. They pray for them. Pray for the family. Pray for the family. That's all I'm saying. I'm trying to help somebody. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Hey, man, ain't he good? Look, man, he's good. He's good. Jesus told us to accept we be born again of the spirit and of the water. We cannot see the kingdom of God. We cannot enter any kingdom of God. And then, then Peter came right along and told us what we got to do. Show us how to do it. Hey, man, you take them however you want. I'm just trying to help somebody. Nothing else is nothing. We do all we worry about all the other things. But the things that we should worry about most of all, we don't even worry about. Hey, man, y'all don't hear me. I said, y'all don't hear me. See, a lot of folks, look at this is a scripture right here. I'm going to close on this scripture. Galatians 5 and 18. And look what it says. And I may not even pronounce all these words. So somebody get a get a, get a microphone. Hey, Amen. Come on. Come on, somebody. Come on, come on, come on, somebody. Who, who can read real good? I want somebody to read real good. I want somebody to read real good. Come to somebody that can read real good. I want y'all to hear this real. You may, you may not even get this word right yourself. <laughs> hey Amen. Come on. God, you may not get that word right your own self. But come on. If you stop right, messing with text, I'm going to take the mic. Well, come on. Sir. You say you can read real good. I'm going to see how good you can read. I'm going to see just how good you can read. Wait a minute. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help somebody, y'all. 
Folks don't want to be here. Can you see that? I'm going to fix that where you can see it. Can you see that? You can't see it. You can't read it. Read it out. Yeah, read all it. Now, now the works of the flesh of men's were, which are these all trees. Hold on here. Give a hand, y'all. Give a hand. I'm glad she's in school. She's learning. Give a hand. Amen. Job, I ain't trying to take that from you, baby, but hey, no, big old words there. Amen. <laughs> she just, what grade you in? Sixth grade. That's all I can do. She's going to be able to read like an angel after a while. It's a, it's a, it's a, now the works of the flesh are manifest. Bless. <laughs> Excuse me. God bless. Uh, which are these? Y'all listen good now. Come on, come on, Trace. Come on, I might need you to. It's a, it's a, if which are these? I want y'all listen. Y'all don't hear nothing else. Listen. Adultery, fornication. Y'all don't hear me. See, we we worry about all these other things and things that's most important. We don't worry about it. Y'all, y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. He said, uncleanness, lasciviousness. Idolatry, witchcraft, Heidi, violence. Come here, come here, Trace. Come here, come here, come here, Trace. Amen. Come here. Amen. She, she, she loves to read. That's my niece. She loves to read. Come here. Amen. Give her a hand, y'all. Yeah, ain't she looking good? Amen. Wow, I bet you you spent a lot of money. <laughs> That's all right. She looking good. She coming to check out. Amen. 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 So I, my hat's off to you, girl. Start reading right there. Read it. Read it right there. Go ahead. On. Right there. Start reading. I'm trying to help somebody. Read that right there. So listen, y'all women. Listen good now. Listen. Galatians 5, 19 through 21. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, very emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, cursory, envying, murder, drunkenness, rebellion, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I do also told you in the time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Give a hand. Give a hand. Now let me tell y'all something. I know folks don't want to hear. But did y'all hear what it said? It said, and listen to what it said. It said, and such lack of these which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now, I'm just lying. Every day I'm just lying. Every day I'm just lying. Every day I'm just lying. I'm just lying back and forth. Every day I'm just lying. I'm just lying, lying, lying. I'm committing dust every day. I'm just doing it every day. Back and forth every day. I'm doing it, ain't it? And what did the Bible say? They that what do? What do the word do mean? Huh? What do the word do mean? Huh? What do the word do mean? Huh? Y'all tell me what that mean word do me. Huh? What am I doing? What am I doing, y'all? Huh? I'm walking in. I'm walking in. So I'm doing it in. Huh? If the Bible had told me walking going to keep me out of heaven and I'm walking, what that mean? I ain't going to heaven if he had said that, right? But he didn't say that. So I can walk. Because walking is good. But that's what he said. He said, they that do. So all I'm saying is, nothing else should matter. Because, see, we don't worry about the things that will keep us out of heaven. Don't y'all realize that the Lord plainly let us know what to keep us out of heaven? He didn't bite his tongue. God loves his little children. So he's going to let his children know what to keep them out of heaven. Huh? 
How many of you ain't gonna tell, ain't gonna tell your truth? If you know that your child can get ran over running out of the road, what you gonna do? Don't go out in that road because you can get ran over by the car. Huh? That's why because you love your children. So God loves us so much that he tells us what not to do that will keep us out of heaven. It's plain. Y'all know it's plain? Ain't it plain? Ain't that plain? Amen. Ain't nothing else. Don't, don't worry about all this other stuff. 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 But worry about the thing that's most important. I tell you, see, I'm trying to see. Well, there's too many people that's dying un unready. There's too many people dying that ain't ready to meet the Lord. You say, how do you know? Because the Bible says the way that leads to destruction is broad, and many people on that road. And he said, the way that leads to life everlasting said, is straight and narrow and few people. Somebody called their radio station and asked that preacher, say, hey, preacher, say, I was reading the Bible, and the Bible said, 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 said ain't that many people going to go to heaven? And, and he said, and he said, that the law folks going to go to hell. You know what the preacher said? Well, uh, well, it's going to be a lot of folks going to heaven. It's going to be a lot of folks going to heaven. He never did say about the, how many going to hell. He said, it's going to be a lot of folks going to heaven. He didn't even want to talk about it. See, what, what's wrong? We don't want to talk about the things that were caused. The devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. So the devil don't want you to know what will hurt you. He don't want you to know what will hurt you. The devil don't want you to know what's going to hurt you. And let me tell y'all something. Somebody said, well, how you know there's a hell? I don't, but I believe it is. Sure. I don't know. I've never been there. I ain't playing no more either. Uh-uh, no. You can, go, you can take a chance, but I ain't going to take no chance. I'm learning better. Y'all don't hear me. Now, y'all want me to say, well, I tell ya. What you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to say? What I just said? Oh, what? I can't make it without you, Lord. I need your spirit to make me strong. All right. Resist temptation, leave sin alone. I need you, Jesus, to take me on. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. I can't make it. 
Yeah. Hey, 